Welcome back to another Halloween edition. We have Ram Asylum, Broken Window. Now this is a track a bunch of people have asked for over the year um, in a bit. Um, so I figured Ram Asylum, man, they always come with those horror movie lyrics, those that, the imagery that they put inside my head. I've said it before a bunch of times reacting to these cats. And they'll, they'll say something and I'll be like, God damn, I wish I had been the one to come up with that. Uh, for one of my books or stories, man. It's, it's so insane, the imagery that these cats produce. So I'm told this is a little bit different, um, but just as amazing. So without further ado, let's jump right in, see what it's all about. Like I, what I like to do in every track um, that I do, it seems, but I'll do it again anyway. Production list is tight, man. It's got that sound. It's got that Halloween horror type of soundtrack that these cats are known for. Um, my first thought was like, I don't think I've done one of their tracks that actually have a video uh, connected to it. Um, <laughs> I can just imagine what these cats could have done uh, with some of their with some of their videos, man, with some of these songs, would just be insane. But I may be way off on this because we're only forty two seconds in, obviously. But I'm getting this sense. Like, does he say? I think he says his name is Demented at the beginning. I think he says. Um, but I'm wondering if this is kind of again. I'm I'm grasping at straws because it's early. Because I'm almost thinking as if it's a, a larger social commentary or the fact. He's looking around. He's 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 damaged. He's demented. He's got shit going on with him. He's looking around and seeing other people who are just like him everywhere that he looks. They all have their own their own issues, um, and then not trusting the nurses and stuff, and stop taking the medication, which makes me think: stop trusting officials. Stop taking the um, the stuff that they're giving you, the information that they provide. Um, I wonder if that's kind of what he's getting at. I guess we'll see. Let's keep going. Inmates had cuts across their wrists My trust in the nurses hesitated Instantly ceased taking medication Wait, they segregated selective mental patients Once caught a glimpse of the room where they taped them Reasons why remain undisclosed A hundred volts straight to the victim's frontal lobes Disguised as medical tests These vulnerable people were being sentenced to death This is beyond madness I had to escape Spent night and day racking my brain Insomniac But I had no solid plan One day in group therapy event Man I love these cats <laughs> So much I'm just I'm listening to Cyclone here And he's just this flow, man, it's so nice. Um, and and you guys know, man, from the last, if you didn't, if, if you're just new here and you only saw me doing this, the last cashmere track I did, so to speak, maybe that's the first time you came in, you know that I love a story, man, and it really is an art form that's super difficult. Um, not only is it difficult to tell a good story verbally, tell a good story writing that shit down, these cats are doing it both ways, man. That's so friggin' difficult. And to see him doing it so effortlessly, it's it's so nice, man. Um, and to sound so dope doing it. I'm still leaning a little bit that way, like I said. A little bit of social commentary type of idea. But man, I don't know. Let's keep going. I had to escape, spent night and day racking my brain Insomniac, but I had no solid plan One day in group therapy, eventually lost my rack Is this some kind of sick job? Next thing I knew a doctor pushed me straight through a window I woke later in my bed as my mind cleared The pain in my side, sparking the idea 
tied up with outside the vet. Look loose, the undetected shard of glass and behind my vest. Heart pounding inside my chest. Managed to slice my restraints, fell down beside my bed. Stood up, pulled off the ceiling, tired mess. Climbed the winding vents, entangled in spider's webs. Exited down the flight of steps. I gotta hear that again, man. Again, the storytelling, the weaving of words. God damn. My restraints fell down beside my bed. Stood up, pulled off the ceiling, tired mess. Climbed the winding vents, entangled in spider's webs. Exited down a flight of steps. Ditched my hospital gown so the dogs won't find the scent. Felt the cold wind on my face, blinded by the moonlight. My mental prison escaped. Okay, that's interesting. It can still kind of work with my social commentary type of thing, but because I know a lot of a lot of artists uh, in in books, movies, uh, hip hop artists have all done this, where they've used their mind, um, uh, they've given their mind uh, like a different. Um, they've called it a house. They've called it a mansion. They've called it a jail. They've um, cyclones sitting there saying that it's. Um, you know, compare it to a mental institution, a mental hospital. Um, so maybe this is all like him escaping his own mind um, and all the shit that's been implanted in there, all, all of the, all the horrors, all the, all the tragedy. Um, all the trauma lived through life. And then he finally was able to to break free of those those chains or break free of the things that were holding him to his 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 bed uh and able to to crawl through the labyrinth and they're able to escape hmm. dope as shit man by the moonlight my mental prison escape Sorry, you say DM it? I thought you said demented. Oh. <laughs> I thought you said demented. That sounds like you say DM it now. Maybe I was wrong the first time. Uh, I have no idea what DM it is. Uh, no. I'm going to stick with demented. <laughs> Institutionalized for committing the most unusual crimes, torturing patients numerous times. Still one escape from the truth to the light. Losing his mind but kept it top secret. Unnecessary methods of shock treatment. No waiting list. Kept going till the power died or the patient did whichever case. Okay, I got something. I got something percolating here. I'm gonna bring it back to the beginning of uh, Possesses uh, verse here. I got something. Per I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say it, but I got it percolating. Institutionalized for committing the most unusual crimes, torturing patients numerous times. Still one escape from the truth to the light. Losing his mind but kept it top secret. Unnecessary methods of shock treatment. No way. Even that. <laughs> even, even that wordplay, man. Losing his mind but keeping it top secret. I mean. Your mind, man, top of the skull, mind, and he's keeping it a secret. Like that little wordplay, man, it is it just it's one of those throwaway type of things I could just go by, you don't give it any thought. But the top of the dome, top secret, like come on, man. God the, I love possessed. I love all these cats, but <laughs> god damn. Numerous times still one escape from the truth to the light. In his mind, but kept it top secret. Unnecessary methods of shock treatment. No waiting list, kept going till the power died or the patient did. Whichever case, he was a 
slave to his hunger within Tie them up, sew razors under their skin Eyes void of emotion When asked why he did it He just said the voices had spoken Insane, locked in a cell Dementia in control of all knowledge of self Day to day he yell about the crimes Like he didn't do them And they're still taking place Swimming in the depths of depression Volatile, Volatile. living on the edge of aggression Never did get a confession Flipped out Flipped during out. a routine group therapy session When asked are you scared of the past He jumped up by the window Put his chair through the glass I've never, I shouldn't say I've never, there's been like three times on this channel where I wanted to take my headphones off and throw that shit down. <laughs> and this is one of these times, god damn brilliant, this track. So Cyclone comes on the track talking as if I thought he said, demented but it is dm it and then possess comes in and he tells this whole story the possess comes in and talks about dr emmett which would be dm it or maybe you know what i'm saying it could be dave for all i know but um but like dr emmett and he tells you he's telling the exact same story but when when cyclone told it it was somebody else jumping out through a window because he has like two personalities or he's got a split personality or whatever it is. And he's not, um, he doesn't see himself as a doctor who's been there committing these atrocities, putting these people, um, you know, shock treatment and all the kind of shit. Uh, cause he even said, I, I, you know, I happen, um, my apologies for some reason to stop recording. Got to keep going here. Um, So he even, he even mentions in it that he's talking about how he just happened to see the room where these experience were, um, taking, uh, experiments were taking place. But in his mind, he's never actually been in those rooms. Um, because it's maybe his other, his other side were the one that was the one that was in that room. So he got a glimpse of it, but really didn't understand that he was the one that was in it. Man, this is fucking just ridiculous storytelling. Uh, this is blowing my damn mind. Seriously, if <laughs> I so badly, it, it started, like I said, it was percolating, but the more that it was coming, I just wanted to be like, chuck that shit down because I can't even, I can't even tell you uh, <laughs> how amazing this is. I mean, you guys know, but God damn. Of aggression, never did get a confession. Flipped out Flipped during out. a routine group therapy session. When asked, Are you scared of the past? He jumped up by the window, put his chair through the glass. Demented look on his face. Guards took him away, put him to bed, fully restrained. Didn't bother drugging him up. Next morning, they walked in and saw him covered in blood. Should have known from behavior patterns that this was a suicide waiting to happen. Life he came to hate with a passion, shot to the wrist, fate of attraction. Examining the evil deed, there it was on the floor, the jagged killer that didn't flee the scene. Broken window, broken window. Man. So even that, man, when, when, when D. Emmett was telling the story, he, he said that. He, he cut his restraints and he managed to escape through the ceiling, through the spider webs and shit and, got, and, and escaped. But meanwhile, they they come into his room and they find him all cut. His, his wrists have been cut and all that kind of shit. So the one side of his personality was able to escape while his other side died on the floor. I think he's dead anyway. Died on the floor of his hospital room, bleeding to death. And then the one personality escaped through the ceiling. Or maybe it was his soul that escaped through the ceiling. The floor, the jagged killer that didn't flee the scene. Broken window, broken window, broken window, broken window. So now I wonder, sorry, with this broken window thing, I wonder if it has two little things here. One would be the broken window played a huge role because that was like what cemented it for me. 
Um, but also I wonder if that's where he broke the, he broke the window and he was able to take a shard of the glass with him back to his room and that's what he used to kill himself. I wonder if that's part of the broken window uh, theme as well. I'm astounded, man, how good of a track this is and how good storytelling this is. Yo, man, that I enjoyed that so much as you guys, <laughs> you guys could tell. Cause goddamn, that was so nice. Um, there wasn't like I'm used to. The guy was told that this was different from their other stuff, and in many ways it is. Uh, Cause they drop all and the other stuff I've done. They drop so many of these double entendres, the, and then some really dope, dark shit in terms of their visuals, um, the things that they, the things that they talk about. Um, demons and, and all kinds of stuff but this is so cool man and at the very end talking about the ghosts escaping through the window I'm, I'm thinking that that's probably what it was it was a soul or whatever it was the one that escaped the one that climbed up through the to the ceiling and escaped through the vents but um man what a dope track i really enjoyed that fits right in with the halloween thing as well man also i was hoping to get another I was hoping to do four Halloween tracks, man. I really don't know if I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a chance. Um, yesterday I had tons of stuff to do. Today, actual Halloween day. I, um, just getting to it now, man. It's getting late. Um, um, but I'll do what I can. Maybe I get to another one. If not, I apologize. Um, and um, if I don't get to another one, I'll see you cats on Monday. Uh, until then, stay safe. Be good to each other.